Welcome to the 12th, more or less, annual Oscar Cocktail Collection Show, based on the Oscar-nominated films for the 93rd Annual Academy Awards. No awards are going to be handed out at this show, it's just an honor to be nominated. Yeah, right. In this four-part special, I'm going to share my Oscar cocktails inspired by the Best Picture nominated films of 2021, plus a little brief synopsis, and I'll be shaking each one up along the way. So stay tuned. Welcome back. Before we get into the first Oscar cocktail, a word from our sponsor, Cocktail Chameleon. In Cocktail Chameleon, you'll learn the fundamentals of the 12 classic cocktails with 12 unique variations, inspiring you to create your own signature cocktails that not only taste better, but look better too. And like and subscribe to our channel. And now our first Oscar cocktail, Rosebud, is inspired by Mank. Starring Gary Oldman as the cantankerous golden age of Hollywood screenwriter Herman Mankiewicz and Amanda Seyfried as Marion Davies, an actress and the mistress of William Randolph Hearst. Amanda Seyfried's performance and her majorette costume in the costume party scene really steal the show and inspired this cocktail. The Rosebud cocktail name derives from Marion Davies' nickname given to her by William Randolph Hearst which was also made infamous as the first line in the film Citizen Kane. Rosebud. <laughs> this gin-based champagne cocktail harkens back to the old days of Hollywood, and this classic cocktail is gonna be served in an iconic Baccarat Messina coupe. I always say the glassware is the cocktail attire for your cocktail, and most importantly, when you're creating an Oscar cocktail. Just as the costumes match the character's personality, so does our glassware. As I said, this is a gin-based champagne cocktail. So we're gonna start with a nice dry London-style gin like Hendrix. So I'm gonna add one ounce of my gin to a mixing glass with ice. And then I'm gonna add a half an ounce of a rose liqueur. And again, this is a nod to Davy's nickname, Rosebud. <laughs> There's a half an ounce. And then I'm going to Transfer the contents of my mixing glass into my shaking tin. Give it a little tap and give it a good shake. Then we'll strain the contents of our mixing glass in our coop. And top with two ounces of a rosé champagne. And today I'm going to be using the Haute Couture Rosé. And we will garnish it with a little dried rosebud and a little spritz of rose water extract. Rosebud. And that completes the fantasy of this silver screen style cocktail inspired by the 10 time Oscar nominated film, Mank. And if you haven't seen Citizen Kane, put it on your bucket list. I got one word to say about it. Rosebud. Our second Oscar nominated cocktail, Moment in Time, is inspired by the film, The Father. It's a story about an aging man, Anthony, played by Anthony Hopkins, and his struggle with his progressive memory loss, while his daughter Anne, played by Olivia Colman, struggles to take care of him. Now, memory is the centerpiece of this film and the inspiration for the cocktail, Moment in Time. Life's memories are complex. They're bitter, sweet, and sour. I took all of those elements to create a drinkable expression of memory that lingers and stands the test of time. The glassware or the cocktail attire for our cocktail is gonna be an eight ounce goblet by William Yeoward. So in our mixing glass without ice, we're gonna add two ounces of a sour mash whiskey, which is our sour memories. Two ounces goes in our mixing glass. And for the sweet moment, we're gonna be using one ounce of Frangelico, which is a hazelnut liqueur and is also a nod to his daughter, Lucy, and her painting, The Pirouette, which used to hang above his mantle. And it's also the flavor profile of this cocktail because the pirouette is also a hazelnut flavored cookie, which will also be our garnish. For our bitter moment, we're gonna add two flavors of bitters. We're gonna add two dashes of chocolate bitters, 
which completes the flavor profile of the pirouette and two dashes of orange bitters. This cocktail includes one egg white. And egg whites are a classic cocktail technique that dates back centuries and are commonly found in sour cocktails. Now, if you're trepidatious about using raw eggs in your cocktails, you wanna make sure you're using a really fresh egg. And how to determine if your egg is fresh or not, if you take a large glass of water and you put the egg in, and if it rests on its side at the bottom of the glass, it's a fresh egg and you're good to go. If it rests on the bottom but pointed upwards, its days are numbered, but you should still be good to go. But if it's a floater, toss it out. I'm gonna add one egg white directly into my mixing glass with the old baking technique of rolling the egg yolk between the two cut shells, not to get any of your egg yolk in, just as in baking. And then I'm going to take my shaking tin, pour the contents of my mixing glass in, and I'm gonna give it a good shake without ice. So what I'm doing now is I'm combining all the ingredients and making sure that the egg is really well blended before I put the ice in, because the ice can really seize up the egg and you get a bunch of lumpy bits in it. But we're gonna double strain this just in case. So we've got that nicely combined, and I'm gonna add some ice to my shaking tin, and then I'm gonna give it another good shake. That's nice and chilled. Now I'm gonna pour it back into my mixing glass. It makes it easier to strain with the Hawthorne strainer. And now we're going to strain it into our cocktail glass. And I'm gonna be using a Hawthorne strainer in my mixing glass, as well as a fine mesh sieve over my cocktail glass. Get all that foam. Look how beautiful that is. And the piece of resistance is a pirouette cookie as our garnish. Here are our first two Oscar nominated films. We have Rosebud for the film Mank and Moment in Time for The Father. Which would you vote for? Leave me a comment below and also check out the complete recipes and resources in the description box below. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. If you hit that notification button, you'll get notified every time we post a new video. Stay tuned for part two, where I reveal the cocktails for the Oscar-nominated films, Nomadland and Minari. Cheers.